I am Optimus Prime, and I bring you this message to tell you to buy my movie. The biggest movie of the year. It's even bigger than me. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Transformers Stark the Moon movie Sci-Fi Rebel Tech Optimus Prime figure. So here we got the cool packaging and lots of uh, Japanese, uh, yeah, but it's really cool. I love the picture of uh, Optimus Prime here. He's ready to kill them all and says Transformers Stark the Moon right there. On the side here it says NR114, maybe that's a 114 figure. I really don't know. This is only my seven, uh, second Re Robotech figure. Other side, more Japanese, I believe, and it shows the Robotech joint or Revoltech or Revotech, whatever you want to say it, it just sounds cool. Revoltech. Back here, more Japanese, but it does say the Transformer, so I do know what that says at least. Shows all the different little guns. You can make a Super Master gun, you can attach them different places. Um, yeah. He's packing Prime and ooh, he can do karate kick, aya! And uh, yeah, he's ready to kill. You can just see the little details and Robotech joints and how to place the swords. Very cool and all the different pieces, optional parts. And what's really cool about this box, it has the little Velcro you can open up and you can see random uh, movie pictures of the Transformers. Oh look, the twins are there. That's where they went. Oh, they were in this box the whole time. Very convenient, as well as more Japanese print, more convenient. And then there's Optimus, looking very cool in the window box. Very nice. I think it's prime time to open up this figure. Let's open. So here we got Optimus, and I have to say I really love the detail on this. The paint apps are really great. You can see in the head sculpt right there. Head sculpt is really nice. Blue painted eyes, the very metallic uh, paint right here. Uh, even in his chest and the flames and the, the little other uh, chromy pieces which are are just very very nice um, yeah one thing that uh, Robotech or Revoltech they're they've been always really great with their detail for the most part uh, this one um, the size could be a little bit bigger but um, I'll get to that in a bit uh, but as you can see here all the blue pieces and yeah, just from head to toe, this looks really great. And even with the Robotech joints, it works out really good. It doesn't look out of place um, at all. You know, it, it really flows well right there. And one thing that's cool, it doesn't come with a stand, but you do have a little hole in this butt. <laughs> uh, so if you want to use the Robotech stands, it works really great. But uh, you can see overall, just like the mixtures of silvers, blues, reds, and golds, um, just looks absolutely amazing. I I think this is definitely one good looking prime. Articulation, this is where this figure really shines. Uh, his head is on this really nice ball joint that can go down really good and can kind of look up pretty good but not too much. But it can go side to side and fully rotate. And then the, the Revotech joints uh, gives you tons of ratchety awesome articulation. Arms can fully rotate, can go in and out very nicely. Uh, he has two uh, two in the arm, of course, one for the, the shoulders, and then one for the elbow that can bend and rotate very nicely. Also one, a uh, little mini one, in the wrist that can fully rotate as well as go in and out. I mean, the posability is just awesome. Also has one in its upper, upper ab, like waist joint, so it can go side to side, ro rotate, go look up, look down, do like a whole ab crunch thing. Then the, the hip joints can go forward and back, very nicely back. You can do the high kick like it said, ah, you know, ch you chuck Norris on with your Optimus Prime, go in and out, rotate at the upper part of the leg because that joint bends at the knee, like almost like a double joint and knee, which is great and also can rotate um, at the knee. Then he has one at the ankle which can pivot forward and back, side the ankle pivot side to side, so and rotate. So if you want posability in a prime, this is the most posable prime I think. Prime comes with tons of accessories. He comes with this little nameplate that says Transformers Stark Limited 2011. Just a little cool thing you can have in the front of the figure, even though I hope people know that's Optimus Prime. He comes with three pairs of hands, so he comes with the, the gun holding hands as you can see here I'll show him holding the guns. He comes with these 
open palm hands, you know, it's like kind of like the high five hands. And he comes with some uh, closed fist hands that won't be holding weapons if you choose. Prime comes with his uh, blade. He only comes with one of them, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice if he came with like the axe and all the other things that he had in the movie. But still very nice. It's not a translucent plastic. It's just painted, but uh, so very cool. And it has a little peg. Now this is cool. You can do one of two things. You can either take out the little fist and peg, which you can see right here. You can just place this. This is how I would normally do it. Oops, right that. So you have like the clothes, um, the, the blade hand, which looks very cool. Or you have the option of taking off uh, his little uh, gauntlet piece or side piece right there. And then you can, has a little hole right there so you can actually you can actually place it into that little hole right there and then you can reposition uh, and now you can see you can have the blade with the hand um, still attached um, it's cool that you have the option of doing either but I prefer just the blade in the hand um, um, peg because now you see that a little oh, um, joint right there showing and then you have to slide this down but it's cool that you have the option. Prime also comes with four uh, different guns. Uh, the two I first going to show are the cool ones. This one looks really good. This one I notice it's a little heavy for him. It makes his wrist kind of go out but if you position it it's um, it'll, it'll work okay. One thing uh, note and I learned this from Piala's review too is that these little um, pegs or handles won't fit inside his little uh, pegs for his hand so he can't have a gun hand um, which is unfortunate it would have been cool but it, it's it's all right I guess uh, and then you uh, have this gun this gun looks pretty cool too um, you know the paint apps are pretty good you know they kind of have a dirty metal feel to it then you got these two that look okay but are kind of yeah just a kind of mixed bag for me when it comes to these guns. It's just kind of like, eh. You know, they look okay, but they look like more you can just attach them to Prime for added um, gun pieces. And then you get this little piece that doesn't really look like a gun, but you can, it has little holes in there for you can attach all the guns there and make a super gun. So there you can combine them and make a giant super gun, which is very top heavy, but it works. Um, it's a, a cool idea. I mean, the gun itself doesn't look that great. One thing that's cool that Robotech did, you get this little box that has some holes in it, I guess air holes, whatever. You can open it up and you can place all your extra hands or uh, in there so you don't lose them. I think that's a great thing. I wish more toy companies actually did that. That's a, that's a really good idea. And you get this little brochure, I guess, for other Robotech type um, figures, which is great. Um, like the War Machine right there and the T-Rex. That Those are the ones I would buy. That's that's very awesome. One thing you notice, Prime has holes right there and right there. So you can place these guns in different spots that give them like kind of gun turret armor. There you got Super Packin' Prime. So you can see here there's lots of possibilities. Of course it's going to make him a little top heavy but you can position his legs and yeah, I mean, and then I got the piece in the back, which looks a little awkward, but just to show you that you can't place it there. But looks, I mean, that's a cool little feature. I, I do like that. It would have been cool if they included the wings and, the, you know, the big old guns, uh, you know, machine guns he had, but still looks very cool. Oh my god, it's Optimus Prime. Well, I'm Iron Man, big fan. I thought you'd be a little bit bigger. That's what you said last night. Size comparison time. Now the only thing bad about this Optimus Prime is its size. He's about deluxe size as you can see here with uh, Bumblebee. Uh, probably about maybe a little smidge uh, shorter. He is also, he's about the five, maybe five and a half scale because he is shorter than the six inch Mark Six Iron Man. Let's see how bigger it is than Marvel Universe um, Cyclops. And you can see how much smaller it is than the standard you know, a leader or, you know, Jet Wing Optimus Prime, which is a standard leader one. Now, this Robotech Optimus Prime is really cool. I wish it was a little bit taller and it did come with, like, two blades or the Jet Wing, like, pieces like Jet Wing Optimus Prime does. But it's still a very detailed, nicely painted, very articulate Optimus Prime. That dual model one, um, I don't have that, but it is bigger, but you do have to build it. But... I mean, if you want a super poseable Optimus Prime and you're a fan of uh, Revotech figures, like the other G1 um, figures that have come out, you definitely won't be disappointed with this. It's very nice. Um, a lot of the gun pieces are weird, but the fact that you can place them on 
different parts of Optimus Prime is very cool and you know, I, I just, I, it's just this amazing detailed figure and I wish it did come with a stand though so you can do some really cool poses and have on there. But um, like I say, if it was a little cheaper, maybe like, you know, 25, 30, 40 at the most, I would definitely say go buy it. So I, I would just say if you're a fan of Robotech and you, and you have money to spare and you definitely want a Super Puzzle Optimus Prime that's not the dual model kit and you don't want to have to build it, definitely buy it. Otherwise, you know, for people, if you, this is definitely better than the um, uh, robot replicas. But if you, you know, if you're just like Transformers, that transform just stick to your Revenge of Fallen, Buster, or Jetwing Optimus Prime. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Name in a big way. In brightest day, in blackest night. Urban Collector is tight. If you like superhero video game movie action figures, replicas, t-shirts, and more, check out Urban Collector. They take all credit cards and PayPal, plus do pre-orders with urban-collector.com. You don't need the power ring to be a superhero, but I think they sell them too. Awesome! Autobots, transform and roll out to the mansion with all the hottie bots.